All right, round two. We've got the choice. We'll play first. Definitely got to keep this. All right, we are a land away from looking real good here. I mean, still have the Entrouting Mist as a combat trick to push Timber Pack Wolf through things. At this point, I'll probably trade in an Entrouting Mist for most of his two drops. Oh, man. All right. Well, I got the land, so... guess we attack and play... Stoward Haven, because he doesn't block. I mean, I can't imagine he blocks here. And the nice thing is, if he has the answer for Aven, we still get to Wild Instincts if we find another land. And Aven can at least block Lieutenant. And I got, I pretty much have to block, is what it boils down to. I don't feel like I have ton of choices otherwise hmm well it's a bit of an issue isn't it well it's okay i guess i mean it's not great it's going to become a four or five but we still get to crack back we get to get renowned and we still make plays all right Uh-oh, he has Entrouting Mist mana. Guess I can't really... I'm not going to play around it. All right, he didn't have the Entrouting Mist, or he would have played it there. I just didn't feel like I had the luxury to, to play around it. We're still looking okay, by the way. I just can't kill this anymore. But I can kill his next creature. And maybe he wants to be defensive now, who knows? I could draw a land, go in Shrouding Mist, plus Wild Instincts to take it out. And it's still a two for two. Okay, I can eat that as well. We'll see if he attacks here. I'm not sure if he does, actually. I'm actually kind of glad he is, because this is going to let us continue to be aggressive. I, I kind of want to draw a land here so I can go Mist Instincts. All right, so I, I've got a couple options, but I think him being tapped out, this is just such a great opportunity to do it that I think it's correct. So we're going to go missed. Yeah, and it's a it's a, it's a a fine two for two. It, it is, because we're getting rid of the lieutenant. He's still going to take... Otherwise, I, I mean, I can play Mauler. I don't love playing Mauler. I think we go for the, the two for two here. And we still get to get in for seven points of damage. So it seems worth it. Glad it's prevent all damage, not just combat damage. Although my guy wouldn't have died anyway, so I guess it's not a big deal. So we he takes seven. We're down to one card to our opponent's five, which is an issue, but we at least get to play a rock smaller. We did take care of the threat that needed to be taken care of. Looks like this is the guy that we are likely sharing a card pool with. I'm not even sure if he can swing with Avon. All right, let's go Mauler. We get to pocket most lands we draw now in case we get Zendikar's Royal. Or a Vassard Gorger. So no need to swing here. 
He could have double blocked a 2-2 and killed it, which I don't. At the cost of four life, eh, maybe it was worth it. Probably not, though. Our opponent is missing land drops, too, which is pretty beneficial for us. Oromancer bringing back Mantled Webs. All right, it's actually decent value. We do get to swing with everything, though, which ultimately I think is worth it. I would like to draw a spell here. I know it's a bit demanding and presumptuous, but it would be nice. Okay, didn't get what we wanted, but you don't always get what you want. So we swing with everything. He can block with an Aven. No, he can't. He has to... I don't know what he's going to do about the Rocksmaller yet. So we're definitely swinging everything. So he can double block a 2-2, but then this is getting renowned. So he's got to deal with Rock Smaller. If I had, like, uh, Wild Instincts here or a... Uh, a Tactician... That would have been nasty. That would have been nasty. Wait a second. No blocks. Um... I think my opponent made a mistake. Okay, my opponent forgot to block. So, uh, all right, Zendikar's Royal worked too well for us in round one for me to forsake it now by taking it out. But we don't have a sideboard plan, do we? I don't think so. So, uh, just, I guess we just don't get to sideboard. I mean, there must be something we could consider, right? Mirror match. Guess not. I don't think so. Valor in Akros is kind of interesting with Zendikar's Royal too, but not interesting enough. So let's go to game two. It's got to be a keep. All right, turn one forest I kind of like because that means no turn two lieutenant. Ah, visionary. I would have loved to have that. All right, wild instincts for days. All right. Zendikar's Royal is a card. So I kind of want to keep this Aven alive because of combat tricks. So if he attacks into it, I think we might have to just take it. and We don't really have much else to do next turn besides the Wild Instincts anyway. So if he attacks with both, we'll take it. All right. Got to play around the combat trick. I don't love it, but now we kind of need him to play a post-combat spell. Tap out at least so I can play around a combat trick. If he leaves up one for Might of the Masses, we're in some trouble. But nothing to be done. Yeah. Well, I he left up in Shrouding Miss Mana, I guess. All right. Still the Still the play. So we'll go Wild Instincts on the Orchard Spirit, I guess. 
Okay. Well, I think he... Well, he doesn't have an entrotting miss, so I guess that's good. Now I'm a little bit more willing to trade for a combat trick. Trade a titanic growth for a Aven or something. So if he attacks with Visionary, I'll block here. Because next turn we at least get to play a Rock Smaller or a Zendikar's Royal. More likely a Rock Smaller. Zendikar's Royal is what we do with every land after this one. Okay, so we block Visionary. We're going to let him pump Titanic Growth, Mighty the Masses, whatever. Okay. And the only reason I'm making that trade is I want it. I'd prefer it happen on that than my Rock Smaller. It's basically what it boils down to. And it uh, happens to be really good against my uh, Wild Instincts as well. So, okay. Oh, no. All right. So we take three. We're not dead. Opponent's still got three cards left, though? Man, that's a bummer. I don't have a sideboard plan against Suppression Bonds, either. All right, let's go Zinda. Ooh, could go Zendikar's Royal Land. Next turn, we get to go... Pilgrimage plus Wild Instincts? That's pretty good, actually. Could be what we need. Could be what we need. Because I do need to take out that Stalwart Aven. Hmm. All right. I trade for a Visionary, I think. Because we're getting another two tokens anyway. And I don't particularly want to take seven here. Ooh, Outland Class is not bad either. But I think this is priority time. we got to take out Stalwart Aven. So let's go Pilgrimage. Forest, Forest. Put one out. Put one in hand. Trigger. Play land. Trigger. Wild Instincts. Take that out. Pass. Okay. Looking pretty decent now. Looking decent. We got more threats. We're even on cards in hand. Board state's not too unfavorable. Rogue's Passage? No! All right. That's a bummer. That's going to be a tough race. Two turns and we're dead, and our opponent's at 20. Doesn't seem too hot here, but at least we get to do some crashing. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. We got to deal damage now, so we get to go land, token, grasp. Swing. I still don't think we have enough damage, though. Just don't quite have enough damage. Um, if I can find a removal for Tactician, now nah, we're still dead because of the stupid Recluse. Two damage short of lethal. If only I would swung with the 4-4. Four four. No, I couldn't do that because then he could have attacked back with the Tactician without the Rogue's Passage. I mean, he's also just like a pump spell away from killing us. And I have no cards in hand.
Is there any way to do this? <laughs> I don't think so. Well, if my opponent didn't have a play here... Oh, man! Double suppression bonds? This opponent and I totally screwed each other this whole time. That sucks. Um... I mean, we're dead next turn regardless, so I guess just block this. Like, if I take one, he just... Actually, no, that's not true, is it? Okay, because I could draw Wild Instincts, number three. But still, I could. It's possible. So we take one. If I find removal for Tactician, we're actually good for a couple turns. Nointer's not removal for Tactician. It's not removal for Tactician at all, actually. It just means I die. All right, tried my best. Not good enough. My best was not good enough. Wish he didn't have two suppression bonds. It's a bummer. Although we do have a evolutionary leap, which is pretty good against suppression bonds, I think. How did we manage to draft green white and not get one out for auras? What a bummer. All right. Tough loss, but nothing to be done. Rogue's Passage turns out is actually a pretty decent card. So, in in conjunction with multiple suppression bonds and combat tricks. All right. Well, this is gonna be a tough match as expected. We did get to do the cool and this is pilgrimage with a Zendikar's Royal out, but not good enough. Not good enough. All right. So let's figure out game three. Oh yeah, we still don't have a sideboard plan, do we? I can't do anything about suppression bonds. All right. Evolutionary Leap or Bust, if he's got the Suppression Bonds. Let's go for it. Do I want an Alchemist Vial instead? No. I got. I, I think this deck's actually pretty tight. Let's just try it again. All right. Um, yeah, I think we keep. We are just a white mana away from this hand doing something. I mean, we at least have the two drop as well, so it d definitely seems like a keep. We draw a white mana, and this hand's looking real spicy. Real spicy. All right. One more turn. One opportunity for all the money, for all that magic. You need that white mana off the top here. This is just very important. Very important turn. Caterpillar. Well, I guess we're running Grasp, so that makes sense. There it is. There it is. There's that spicy draw. That's what I wanted to see. Super important draw there. Well, that sucks, but... Guess we'll accept. I'll trade an Entrouting Miss for a... Um, Timber Pack Wolf, I guess. I'm not in love with it, but I could think of better plays later. And Trotting Miss is actually just very good against us because of Wild Instincts. So I guess it's not the worst. All right, so now we get to Grasp, Tap Down, Caterpillar, which I think we do. Or I guess we could grasp Avon, right? I mean, he's not going to block with either. So I guess we just grasp. I mean, I'd rather him block with the Avon, even with the Caterpillar. Right? I think. He probably just snaps off uh, Suppression Bonds next turn anyway, making this entire argument irrelevant. So actually, let's let's tap the Avon because we're gonna play an evolutionary leap that I don't want him to destroy. Yeah, I think we're just gonna lose our guy next turn to suppression bonds because he's got him in multiples, and it would make sense. So then we have to play an Avon, and we have to block his Avon. So 
So let's go Aven so we can block his Aven. Is that right? Maybe we want to do Knight, actually, because... Why would I want to do Knight? So why would I want to do Knight? So Knight can maybe swing. If I do Aven, maybe he can... <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea. I'm going to play Aven instead because it blocks his Aven. If he attacks into it, maybe I don't block because I'm worried about a combat trick. And then I follow up with Evolutionary Leap and then block. I guess we're blocking regardless this turn. We're going to make him have the Might of the Masses. All right, that makes things difficult. Let's see if we draw a land here, that'd be spicy. Also, I want my opponent to not have a play. Okay. Orchard Spirit, not the worst, but not the best either. Hopefully he doesn't have another Entrotting Mist. All right, well, should be able to block the Aven again, I guess, which is good. Let's play a Knight, because might make his Aven attack worse. Tactician, okay. Guess we can trade a Knight for a Caterpillar, because otherwise we're just slowly going to... Not even slowly, we're just going to lose this race. So I think we actually, and, and another reason to do it is, um, I kind of want to keep Evolutionary Leap. I just feel like I can't afford to take a, too much more damage here. I mean, we're, I feel like we're taking too much damage regardless, but okay. Now I guess I play Mauler and leave back Aven, is that right? The reason to do that is because, yeah, yeah, I, I actually kind of have to do this. Because otherwise he could make his ground guy unblockable. If I attack with Aven, he can just get in for six next turn, and that's just far too much damage. So I got to do it like this, I think. Maybe it would have been better to keep the knight, but I don't know. I don't know. I would be at nine instead, and he'd still have a caterpillar. Council's lieutenant's a good card. All right. Now, I kind of wish we had a wild instincts. Let's go leap. Sack Castellan. There's a Gorger. All right. Play a land, play a spirit, pass. One card left. Seems still like a tough race to win.
If he swings with everything, how am I blocking? I'm definitely doing some blocks. Um, yeah, I haven't figured that out yet. I probably have to take the flyer, block the Aven on the Lieutenant, and then... Well, I'm, I'm have to make him play a spell here, so I guess I'd rather lose the Mauler since, well, that's tough. See, the problem is the Mauler doesn't even deal with the Aven, even now if I get Wild Instincts, which kind of sucks. So it's really a question of what would I rather lose. I guess the Mauler, and the reason is because the Aven at least makes him pay the four. I mean, that's it's horrible. It's terrible. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> it's really bad. I wish that didn't happen, but I can't do anything about it. Oh, my God. All right. That's just sad. That is just sad. Yep. Yeah, that sucks really, really bad. That sucks. All right, well, it's pretty much over at this point. I, I don't think I can race a Rogue's Passage. In fact, my opponent could have just, like, gotten in for seven points of damage the last turn, but he's just, at this point, super outvaluing us. So this game is just over at this point. He's Suppression Bonds the Gorger. I find another creature. He gets to swing with everything. I have to do, or he gets to swing with at least Aven and tactician maybe i don't know what he swings with but i'm sure he can figure that out and it's really good for him yeah it seems difficult maybe i sack the orchard spirit does that actually do anything not really. Doesn't really do too much. Is there a creature I'm looking for? Outland Colossus, maybe? Does that do anything? Does anything do anything? Because he's got expression bonds in his hand. Not really. Not really. Guess this Orchard Spirit's not doing much, so okay. Oh man. Swift Reckoning would have been nice. Alright. I guess that's reasonable. So now everything on his team is going to get pumped, which makes it seem pretty difficult to win this as expected. So he gets to just suppression bonds next turn, but then I guess he can't rogue's passage. So he gets to just swing, everything gets pumped. She just seems horrible. I mean, if he doesn't have a pump spell, I can block Aven on Lieutenant. But... And then I just have to chump block, I guess. So, my hope is he's got nothing... But I think his, well, yeah, I guess my hope is he's got nothing. 
because he kind of has to cast suppression bonds here for the gorger kind of not really though just in, if he's scared of the gorger he does Uh, the problem is I don't know what I can. I don't know what I can find. We already bottomed our swift reckoning, which would have been pretty helpful. Some world alpha, I guess, but I don't know if that pushes enough damage through either. I guess alpha does help quite a bit, though. Alpha lets us get Trample on this guy, which we need. But we can only play Alpha and give Trample to one thing currently. We're at the point now where I think I need to take as much damage as I can without dying because I basically need as many creatures as I can to win this. I, I just don't know. Considering my opponent's got suppression bonds, I don't know what kind of tactical tactical blocking I can do. My one regret, if I could go back in time, I would play Castellan, and then I would just play another three drop, like a Stalward Haven or something. Um, playing the Grasp, I, I played it without thinking about it enough. As soon as I'd played it is when I realized, wait, my opponent's got two suppression bonds, even with an evolutionary leap in my hand. This is a pretty awful situation. And it backfired really hard on me there. So that that's my one regret. My one regret is that. All right, so this. Let's see what all he swings with. Just the lieutenant. Okay. Well, I cannot block it. So... Take our three. I think I'm going to sack the anointer. I mean, granted, anointer can pump gorger, but we're kind of hunting for something better here. Another gorger. Well... Not quite good enough, and there's our wild instincts. So, oh, there's another wild instinct. So, all right, let me think about this. This is this is an important turn. This is a very important turn. So, I need to think about this wisely. If I kill the flyer, I can. Swing with everything, and I at least force a block. But he'll still have lethal on the backswing. So I kind of feel like I have to Wild Instincts the, the Aven. But then I just swing with Gorger. And then I can't play another Gorger either. Okay, I can... Okay, okay. I can Wild Instincts Gorger on Aven, swing with Gorger Tactician, and that does force a block. And then I can... He can only make... No, no, but... Okay, but then if he draws a land, he can go... The question is, am I dead next turn? If my opponent draws a land, am I straight up dead next turn? I mean... I 
What's my best play? What am I missing? Okay, the only two I'm really considering are Avon and Lieutenant, and I think those are the only two worth considering. So if a Wild Instinct's Lieutenant, he can't buff his team. But he's got a blocker for my Tactician. But maybe I can't block with Tactician anyway. Maybe I just kill Lieutenant, swing with Gorger. He chump blocks with an Oromancer. He's still left with two guys. And I can't play my Gorger. If I swing with Gorger and play a Gorger, he makes Lieutenant unblockable. And suppression bonds, maybe if he draws a land. Like, I'm trying to think if it's better to play the Gorger or play the Wild Instincts. Does that make sense? He can only make one guy unblockable. If he draws the land, he can make a guy unblockable and suppression bonds. Does that mean lethal? Because he has four attackers and I have four blockers. Make a guy unblockable. Suppression bonds, I have two blockers. I can block. He does it on the flyer and this, and I'm dead. Especially if he pumps. So I think I'm just dead to a land, right? I believe I am just straight up dead to land. Any way you slice it. Because. Or is that just not true? God. Maybe. I, I think I have to force him to draw land. I think my one play that forces him to draw the land that I can think of is Wild Instincts, Avon, Swing, Gorger, Tactician, Force Block. Then if he draws land... I'm dead because he goes unblockable suppression bonds. Or wait, that's not even right because... No, he just suppression bonds and then gets in. I th God, how do I do this? <laughs> how do I do this? I think I have to Wild Instincts, don't I? I have to Wild Instincts to Avon so I can swing with the Gorger and I keep two guys back. But then I'm dead. And, no, he Suppression Bonds one of my guys. Gets in with everything. No, and then I'm dead because... <sighs> There's just no way to not die here, is there? I think the only way to not die is play Gorger and pass. And then I have to figure out how I'm killing him next turn, which seems even <laughs> less likely. Yeah, I think I just have to play Gorger and pass. The problem is if I Wild Instincts this and swing with Gorger only, he can just take seven, then he Suppression Bonds a blocker, and he gets in for lethal. If I Wild Instincts and don't attack, I feel like it's a waste of the Wild Instincts, and I'd rather just put another threat on board since I can at least block the Aven with my Flyer. Um, I still don't have enough mana to Summerworld Alpha and give two of my guys Trample. And I don't have enough mana to Wild Instincts and Somberwild Alpha and make Trample. So that's a bit of an issue there. I really don't like losing against Rogue's Passage like this, but there's nothing to be done. So he can force me to block... Well, I think he just gets in with Lieutenant again, and then I'm right back where I was before. Except if he drew a land, he can go Suppression Bonds, too. Yeah, I guess we lose anyway, don't we? Well, only if he has the land, I guess, huh? Well, if he has land, we were going to die anyway. I think that's what it boiled down to.
Oh, he had pump? Well, irrelevant. We lost anyway. All right. That sucks. Not streaming, but you got to destroy me in the video. Uh, so, yeah, rough loss, but uh, it does happen in Magic. You do lose from time to time. Uh, I thought Zendikar's Royal was good. I dislike that we have to go back to Swiss Draft, but nothing to be done about it, unfortunately. I lost fair and square. I don't like losing to Rogue's Passage in such a way, but I think I did that correctly. Maybe someone will have some line in which I could defeat my opponent, but I actually think we, we just had absolutely zero lines of winning there. Like, uh, yeah, we had. Th there was no way to win that. There was absolutely no way to win that. If I Wild Instincted his flyer, he would just go unblockable and pump there, and he still would have had lethal. So, yeah, I was just very dead. It's a tough loss. But I have to accept it. I have to go back to Swiss, and we'll see you then.